The warmth of autumn mixed with the chill of oncoming winter, but what was really in the air at Beaver Stadium was the aroma of history. History about to be made. Northwestern brought a perfect 4-0 road record to Happy Valley and hoped to delay the inevitable 400th win for Joe Paterno as head coach. And they started off looking like they would accomplish that task. Quarterback draw to his left, to a five-person touchdown, Northwestern. Bolden goes straight back. They run a stunt. They set up a screen. Three. Block in front. 20. 25. 30. 35. First down. Penn State. Well set up and well blocked by the Nittany Lions. The freshman Silas Red with all kinds of running room. Inside the Northwestern 30 and taken down by Brian Peters. 28-yard run. What's coming? Hit as he throws. Fumbles the football. Scramble and Northwestern recovers at the 48-yard line. Dan Person, a quarterback with Northwestern, has really controlled this game for Northwestern at a very high tempo with their offense. I mean, they're playing their game. Penn State is reacting to him, and they are not reacting quick enough and getting off blocks to make a play. Wide open. He walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Persa and the Wildcats were crashing the party and showed the Nittany Lions their second-ranked Big Ten passing game was no fluke. And by the final minute of the first half, things looked bleak from the Nittany perspective. Persa with an empty backfield. Throws to the end zone, and it is caught! One-handed catch for a touchdown! Backed up on their own nine with less than a minute to go, quarterback Matt McGloin and the Nittany Lions were encouraged by the fact that they had moved the ball most of the half. Only this time, they were determined to finish the drive off. McGloin, draw play green, green first down, 40, 45, midfield, Northwestern 47-yard line, 18 seconds left in the half, back to pass. Throws out field, it is caught inside the 30. That's a heck of a throw by McGloin down the sideline where you're having to defend the sideline and he throws it between two defenders on a rope. Seven seconds left. McGloin back. Wait. Throws at the end zone for Brock and he reaches up. Flag goes down. Touchdown. Penn State. The Nittany Lions count a 47 second 91 yard drive. It was Penn State's second longest drive of the year and most important drive of the game. It started a momentum shift that would last the rest of the evening. The Lions started the second half where they left off the first, chewing up big chunks of Beaver Stadium turf. It's red up the middle to the right, 45. Red to the 50, spins 45. A big block by a little guy out there in Smith downfield. It's just speed, and then there's the burst. Red remains the tailback. They give it to him again. Good blocking on the corner. And another first down. Nicely blocked inside by the offensive line of Penn State. And then a good job by the receiver. Moisture this time. Hurdles a man 30. 25, 20. Inside the 20. 15. Moisture to the 13 yard line. Now the place comes to life. Down near the five yard line. One. Play action. Rolls right. Looks in the end zone. Fires in the end zone. Touchdown. Penn State. Nate Kenogan. The last guy on the field you would expect to catch the football done. The former offensive tackle, Nate Kadogan. And current tight end, Nate Kadogan. It was a football game again, and the more than 104,000 who had come to see Joe Paterno win his 400th game were rocking and rolling in the stands, as were the Nittany Lions on the field. Long and deep, far side. He's there. He's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. Derek Boy and the Nittany Lions are an extra point away from a tie. And a perfectly thrown ball by McGloin down the sideline to let Derek Boy make that catch for the touchdown. What's by body coming back to pass. Flag goes down. And they're going to stop it for a false start. And the crowd here is going to realize they created this false start. And this is what home field advantage is all about when you're playing here at Beaver Stadium. That kind of support is why even a 21-0 deficit isn't too much to overcome and why second and one can become fourth and one. Stonewalls, he doesn't get there. Fourth down. And Beaver Stadium is rocking. This momentum is all Penn State right now. they got to continue to do it here on this drop. And they would, with a near-perfect balance of passing and running that left the Wildcats wondering what had happened. The third quarter would be as dominant as any in recent history. Penn State scored three touchdowns. Northwestern had 32 yards. Evan Royster and Silas Red would each rush for more than 130 yards. 
The last time that happened, the backs were Franco Harris and Lydell Mitchell in 1971. Red up the middle, to his left, to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State! Touchdown to the lead for the Nittany Lions! Red with all that type of quickness, good seal block by Brackett, and Penn State has taken the lead. Four consecutive drives, four consecutive touchdowns. The Nittany Lions were in control on both sides of the ball. Defensive adjustments at halftime helped shut down Northwestern completely. They would not score in the second half. And linebacker Michael Motti set a new career high for tackles for the third straight game. Purcell waits, gets the snap, back to pass. They want a stunt. Here's the pressure, and down he goes! With a fitting conclusion to the third quarter, dominated by Penn State. The Wildcats had little left to defend with, other than frustration. Former walk-on quarterback Matt McGloin was leading his fifth straight touchdown drive as Penn State would score 35 unanswered points. Now it's Silas Red. Red up the middle, off the block for Zornish, 40, 35, Red 30, Red 25, breaks a tackle on the 20, Red to the 15, it's on the 15 to the 13 yard line. They have two 100 yard rushes today. Trying to set up a screen to Royster with blockers out in front. Touchdown, Penn State! The Nittany Lions have scored a five consecutive drives and now have a two-score lead. Stefan Wisniewski with a great block on the edge. 35-21 Nittany Lions with 11.38 to go. Boys and girls, in your wildest dreams, an hour and a half ago, did you envision this? Maybe they did. 50 years of Beaver Stadium, 400 wins for Joe Paterno, combining for many magical moments that often seemed improbable, if not impossible, at the time. And like so many games before, the defense finished the job. Everyone stands. Trips their side, too far side. Here comes the blitz. Persis steps up and down he goes. And Persis sacked. Mike Marty having the game of his career at Penn State. And Tom Bradley dials up a blitz, and Marty finishes it off. One of the best defensive minds in the country, another long-serving member of the staff. The victory formation rarely has looked so sweet as the rest of that staff that has helped win so many of those games shared the joy of the day the joy of the years. Joe Paterno is hoisted upon the shoulders of his players, and we have just witnessed history. You'll never see this again. One man, one school, 400 wins.